I've had the unique pleasure of officiating several weddings, but I have to admit, this one's unique. <laughs> it was originally scheduled for almost two years ago, and then March 2020 happened. The world came to a halt, the pandemic, no vaccine on the horizon, and you guys had to do the safe thing, you had to do the prudent thing, and you had to postpone this event. You made the good decision and you made a declaration in your backyard in a small event. And it was a declaration of optimism. It was a declaration of the future. Well, today is that future. You made a declaration of marriage and that's what we're here to celebrate. first told me your name I didn't hear a word you said That it was written all over my face Oh, my little Should have known that you were my love I love you, I'm gonna cry I love you so much and I'm just like so happy that our day is finally here We've been through like so many ups and downs over the past three years and um, just to finally have this moment to be celebrated with each other like I can't wait can't wait to see you and I'm just like so lucky Every to have my best friend my as my husband and I'm so excited to stay here. Guess you could see it <laughs> in my smile. Oh goodness. You guys look so handsome. Says you. I don't know where this road I want to go with you in a life where there's no sure things. I am sure I want to live it with you. into my eyes when our time down here is spent it's in every single line hope you know it was you that I loved until the end Now here we are today, a day in which we've all come together to celebrate and honor that declaration you made two years ago, that declaration of optimism, that declaration for the future, your declaration of marriage. So enjoy this special day. You're surrounded by people who stand for you, who love you. They want nothing but the best for you. Bask in the love of all of those that are here today and bask in the love that you have for each other. And know that today we've come together to honor that declaration of optimism that you made two years ago, your declaration of marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, it's my pleasure to present for you here the second time, Mr. and Mrs. Crutcher.
once heard with love and patience, nothing is impossible. So before I get started, can we give this amazing couple a round of applause for how patient they have been to make this wedding day a reality. <laughs> they really proved that tonight was not impossible. Caitlin is the best sister anyone could wish for. <laughs> and even though we are sisters purely by chance, she is my best friend by choice. <laughs> Some of you may not know this, but Chris and I both went to Keene. Never did I think one of my college friends would end up being my brother-in-law someday. Supposedly I was a righty coming out of the womb, and this kid was like, oh, this kid's gonna be a lefty stud. Ties my right hand behind my back. I don't even like baseball. At a young age, I was getting dragged around Chris and Danielle's games. I hated it. At two years old, they're 12 and, what are you, gonna be eight years, 10 years? 12 and 10 years old? I don't like it at all, but they did a lot for me. I mean, I've seen you two grow up since I was 10. I just hope the best for you guys, really. Like, Caitlin, you've done so much for Chris. Chris, you've done so much for Caitlin. You two are packed, and I really hope that's going to stay, that's going to that's gonna be long-lasting. <laughs> 